Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I'm going to show you guys the ROM that I'm currently running on my Galaxy Nexus phone. This is Liquid version 5, and I really like this ROM. It has the most customization options that I've seen on a ROM uh, to date, and I'll show you some of my favorite settings. Also, it includes tons of other settings that will kind of go by, go over really quickly, and then at the end of the video, I'll have a quick install guide. So let's go ahead and jump into the review. Okay guys, so the first thing you'll notice here is the custom lock screen. I have it set at four options with the custom carrier logo. We'll get into those settings here in a minute. Um, but the first thing I want to show you here is just how incredibly fast it is. If we pull up the app drawer, you can see that it's just really, really super fast. And uh, let's jump into the liquid settings. The way you get there is uh, pull down the, the status bar and click on the liquid circle there. And it's going to bring you to the liquid control box. If you jump into general, there's plenty of settings here. The notable settings are the CRT animation, uh, disable, and also the 180 degree rotation, uh, which allows your phone to rotate upside down. In the navigation setting, those are these keys here. And there's tons and tons of settings that you can do. Um, you can do the menu location and visibility. You can change the nav bar color, which is really cool. And it does all this on the fly. You can choose the enable buttons. I have task deselected uh, because I've got my min I'm sorry, I've got my home button selected to long press to bring it up, which shows my recents. And then I have this set up like WebOS, so you can just swipe those away. Um, on the button glow, you can change how quickly it glows. So see how quickly it went. Uh, whenever I, I selected that, it just glowed for a second and then went to wherever I selected. You can also change the transparency. I like to have them nice and bright. So 80 is pretty good for me. And we'll go on to the lock screen. You can change the style of the lock screen here. And you can go either stock, quad, or octo. I prefer quad. I don't really have eight applications that I need to get to really quickly. Let's see if we can sharpen this picture up. Okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, you can also change the lock screen timeout. You can add battery percentage to the lock screen. You can add volume wake and volume controls to the lock screen. You can add fast torch to the lock screen. And what that is, is once you're at the lock screen, you can hold down your power button. I'm sorry, that's not even it. Okay, so when your phone is turned off, you can hold down the power button and that'll turn on your torch. That's pretty cool. We saw that on Tranquility Ice as well. So let's get back to our settings. And uh, you can have quick unlock if you have a pin lock, and then you can choose your custom targets for the lock screen power menu. Uh, you can uh, choose to have the screenshot in the power menu or not. The power menu is just whenever you hold this power button and brings up the menu, you have screenshot and reboot options there. For Power Saver, there's all kinds of tweaks and mods. I haven't had any chance to play with this, but I'm still getting pretty good battery life. I've been on, I've been off the charger all day, I should say, and I'm at 48%, which is really not bad when you use your phone like I do. And LED options. You've seen some of these before. You can change your LED color and also the pulse rate, which is really cool. Under the status bar, there's all kinds of things that you can change here. Um, like your toggles, you can enable toggles or disable them. I like to use this alternate toggles because it just looks a little sleeker to me. It just has the little buttons there. If you don't have those enabled, then you get this big huge menu, uh, which kind of gets in the way for me. And you can change the style to be icon only or text only. The clock, you can change that to the center clock, or you can have it either on the right or none at all. Once again, all these settings are on the fly. You can change the clock color. And on the battery, you can change the style there. My favorite is text, but you can also go icon and text, or we'll just put it back to text. But you see there's several options there. And uh, you can change the style, right or center, and battery color. You can change that as well. And also the battery size. Performance. Now under maximum, you have a setting there for 1,420 megahertz. 
uh, which for me was too fast and it caused my phone to be super laggy at 1350 megahertz. I did it, notice an increase in speed with no lag, uh, but it does tend to drain the battery a little faster. 1200 megahertz is like the sweet spot, which is what the phone comes with anyways, and that's where I would suggest that you keep it. Um, and then the governor, you can set this to conservative X to save on some battery, or even on demand will serve, save the battery because it only uh, processes at high speeds when it absolutely needs to. Performance X is going to be uh, the setting that really kills your battery. And you can also undervolt there as well, that'll help you to save some battery. And this prop modder, there's some cool things in here. Uh, to, to note here is the upload speed hack. I may end up applying this because I like to upload my, my videos with my phone's internet, uh, which would make the uploads go even faster. The upload speeds on this 4G is really, I'm getting about 10 megabytes per second, so I really don't have an incredible need to do that, but it's there in case I ever wanted to. And then there's also the 3G speed hack. If you guys are not on a 4G network yet, you can do that 3G speed hack. It's there as well. There's also GPU, that's the graphics processor. Uh, acceleration, you can do that there. And a few other things like the SD card speed hack, that's there as well. A lot of ROMs include these already built in. All right guys, so that was Liquid version five. Uh, for the Galaxy Nexus, like I said, one of my favorites. And now I'm going to show you guys how to install it. If you guys already know how to install ROMs, uh, then you can skip ahead. Uh, what we want to do here first is reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. And you'll need to download this ROM first. And have it on your SD card. Just go down to the link in the description. I'll have the download link there. And as soon as this boots up, we'll go ahead and jump in. Let's see if I can go ahead and get a little closer shot here so that you can see the menu a little bit better. So you can see pretty good now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started with this. The first thing that you wanna do is wipe data factory reset. So just go down there and select that. Then go to yes, delete all user data, select that. And then you'll check wipe data cat, I'm sorry, wipe cache partition, select that. Head down to yes, wipe cache. And then you're gonna to head to advanced. Select that, and wipe down it cache, select that. Head down to yes, wipe down it cache. And when that's finished, you'll go back, and then you'll go back again. Install zip from SD card, select that. Choose zip from SD card, select that. Now you're gonna go to your download folder. It's where it should have downloaded, is if you downloaded it directly to your phone. And then you're gonna find the liquid Let's see, where is it at here? Okay, Liquid Toro. And whatever the latest version is, it should be beta version five. And you'll select that. And install Liquid Toro uh, beta version five. You'll go ahead and select that. Give it about five minutes to install. When that's all finished, uh, you'll just go back to reboot system now. And I'll leave you guys with the with the boot animation. So like I said, this one, uh, all the G apps are included, so you don't have to flash those separately. Guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos like this. Also, you can check me out at droidmoderx.com for all the latest in Android news, uh, ROMs, mods, and hacks. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3. Thanks, guys.